Okay, this is Switzerland for the first time in the race's history. National organisation, Switzerland. I must admit, I, I went to the start and I won in Southampton. I uh, live in Ocean Village there and uh, although it was great, the majority of the events seemed to happen on the water and on the solar. Whereas here, it all really hoved around St. Catharines, the Tower Bridge, and, and it was just great to see everybody. I thought the parade was wonderful. Something really special. And seeing the boats with Tower Bridge open, um, you know, a sight you'll never forget. Left, right, left, right, left. Yeah. How are you feeling with all sorts of leg one? Uh, excited, um, just anxious to get going really, really keen to get started. And what are you most looking forward to and what are you least looking forward to? Uh, actually learning to sail, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Um, the thing that I'm least looking forward to is the flight back, I don't like flying. Well I think the first race is going to be quite technical, uh, light winds and uh, um, lots of tidal effects so uh, we're going to be racing, uh, trying to learn about racing in the first uh, part felt to breast and then it's the ocean race, it's a big adventure, at least for me I'm a leg one so uh, that's what um, I'm looking forward to, improve my sailing skills, um, learn about ocean racing and ocean sailing. What did I say? Ready to go? Hmm? Get, the get, get the show on the road. I guess I'm thinking all sorts. I've got um, great excitement. I'm looking forward to getting to Rio and doing uh, with an ocean crossing behind behind me because that's my first. Um, I'm really, really looking to the Sydney Hobart. Um, you know, but I've got a lot of you know concerns and you know what's it going to be like on the unknown. You know, the Southern Ocean crossing and the Pacific crossing to name just a couple of them. So a lot of mixed feelings, but really, really looking. Very excited. Right, 14 minutes to go. <laughs> right, okay, let's try right. to drive then, folks. Okay, ready folks? Ready. Okay, hands to weather. Okay, ease, minor ease. Ease, ease, ease. Pull, pull, pull. Ease, hold, slowly minor, slowly minor. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, 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 pull. Grind on pull. Grind on pull. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, grind on pull. Grind on pull. Okay, grind on pull. Pull, 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 pull! Run on pull, pull! Pull, 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 pull! So the spinnaker was flying lovely at first and then we went to jive and I think we were actually a bit slow at doing the jive and we ended up with a spinnaker wrap which wasn't very good. And we couldn't unwrap it because the jive didn't happen quick enough it just all wrapped up so we had to then um, envelope it back through the boom um, and bring it down Right, and here we are on day two <laughs> in the galley of Team Switzerland. Lunch time is just over. Hello, mommy! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Crew, all crew fed and watered. There's no vulture in this, honest. But I understand earlier on there was a bit of an incident. Dave, do you want to tell us all about that? Yes. Um we were Yay. trying to cook some bread in the oven and we'd never used the oven before so we asked Alison if she could show us how to light the oven and uh, she opened the oven door 
and we turn the gas on and we lit the oven at the back and then after about 10 seconds, we're just about to close the oven door and there was a big flash behind, the, uh, behind and underneath the oven and uh, uh, we had a fire. So we rang the bell and we all ran around like headless chickens looking for the fire extinguishers um, and Vicky came along and, and found the leak for us eventually after we'd isolated the gas, the fire was out. Okay. Luckily we didn't have to use any of the fire extinguishers. So no bread for Team Switzerland for the time being? Well, no cooked bread, just uh, half-baked bread for Team Switzerland and uh, no apple crumble. So Antonio, what was the news we just had? <laughs> the news is that apparently the race director has decided to terminate the, the, um, the race in uh, three hours time. Which basically means, regardless of the the <laughs> position achieved, okay, the one closer to the lighthouse will be as a matter of fact the winner of the race. How many seconds have we got to go? Bounce. <laughs> what? Okay, After a um, bit more than three days of race, we're like uh, a couple of meters from one DLL. Um, not sure. We've overtaken them or not, I don't think so. But we've been like in hunting mode for the couple of last hours. Uh, everybody's on deck, no one off watch. Some people haven't slept for quite some time now. But uh, uh, I'm almost sure we, we've overtaken a lot of, like at least one or two boats, um, which we can be really proud of. Uh, and I think we did like an awesome job uh, during the last uh, 12 hours uh, just just overtaking boats basically so really really good job but now we're all knackered I think and um, just go to Brest. <laughs> you were grinding away like a grinding machine for the last hour or so? Yep. What did it feel like? It felt uh, grindful, no, it, um, it was good, it was a uh, big suspense till the end. Uh, we we're hunting down um, one DLL, it was um, great when they came out of the, the fog. And they were really close, but apparently we didn't make it by 50 meters. But we gave our best, and we can really say the last few hours this team was so focused that um, it uh, gives great promises for the next race. Left station, left station, here is Dick, over. Left station. Ready? Yeah. Receiving, okay. Over. Yes. Right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lindsay. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> well, it's beautiful out here. This is uh, Ile Louise Saint, or Ashens in English. Uh, this beautiful rocky coastline, very jagged. This was uh, all for the finishing. finishing line. This was the mark that defined our finishing line. Whoever was closer to that uh, uh, lighthouse at uh, 1500 hours. UTC was uh, going to be the winning boat and we still don't know much about the ranking of the boats. We are all anxious to know how we did. It all came down to the last few seconds. I can tell you that um, Derry, uh, CB30 and Henry Lloyd, um, those guys drew. They had exactly the same to the nearest oh, yes. meter oh, distance wow. to their finish line. Wow. Um, safe to say that they were comfortably 0.3 of a nautical mile behind us. Yeah! Yeah! Team, I can safely say that we have a really, really proud seventh position and six points to be. Yeah! From being consistently 11th on the yeah. score chart, yeah. pretty much yeah. missed the race. Team, I am absolutely delighted that we managed to catch up and claw back all those places. Nice. Basically, yeah, well, a really, really big well done. We also put to dust and to bed um, uh, Jamaica, so we okay. saw those guys what off as well. 
Nice. So PSP Mission Performance, Jamaica Derry, London Derry, Dwar and Henry Lloyd. We all over to yes. those guys. Yes. We were a fraction right? of a, a boat DLL. length away from DLL. Yeah. 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 guys on that fight. I mean, it was a really and close, close, close It's been 10 minutes longer. Yeah. 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 Considering at the three minute, the three hour to go point, we had a one and a half, one, one point, one point seven something over the nautical miles. One point seven. Oh, one and a half miles. Yeah. 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 We managed to claw, and, and it wasn't like the boats were just sitting there idle. You know, everyone was putting in yeah, everything yeah. to claw that back. <coughs> so you know. We, we did a fantastic job to gain that back up again. Folks, I'm just yeah. utterly, I think probably in terms of performance during those three hours, I don't think anybody can fault us for having put in the most amount of effort and probably clawed the biggest distance oh. from original position to final position in that three hour stretch. Wow. <laughs>